Hello, everyone, and welcome to the No Excuses Show, episode number 56. I am Eva Eckert, and I am your host. Are you looking to create a better discipline, energy, confidence in your life so you can stop making the excuses and create the life that you truly desire and want to have? Create the excuses in mind, body, and business, and nutrition, and relationships. If yes, this show is for you. For those of you who are a badass and for those of you who wants to become a badass. And this bracelet is actually a reminder. I got it from one of you here in this group, Aliana Veras, who sent me this bracelet and it says a badass on the site. And guys, welcome to the show, episode 56. In this show, I share a real life situations, experiences that me and my freak family went through and and help us to become successful. It's not always pretty. There is a lot of obstacles on the way, but I want to inspire you that you have those invisible wings inside you as a human being. It's only one and one only on you. In this whole universe, it's only one single one of you and no one else just like you. So I want to inspire you to do the things that you want to do and become congruent with your mission. Find that passion, find that purpose, and drive forward. So guys, today in episode 56, I was thinking a lot about this episode. This episode will be, I think, more emotional for me than I think any other episode. Uh, With everything that is going on in the world right now, so many of you know that I come from Poland. Even though my husband called me Russian, I'm not Russian, I come from Poland. And these recent situations um, caused me to do this episode. And I was wondering really what I should be talking about today. Should I, should I, because life brings you so many lessons and I see you guys joining. I said, Janet, Tatiana, thank you so much. I see you guys joining. Life brings you so many lessons. And if you do daily these reflections, when you pause and think about your day, closing your eyes and really thinking, how my day went? What have I accomplished? What lessons have I learned? Did I act the right way? What was the, what was maybe the situations that I wasn't my best self? These reflections are breakthroughs and these reflections will help you to grow. If you don't do this, you're going to be stuck in the same place and you're going to be going through life in this, in exactly, you, you will be in the same spot that you were before. Nowadays, we talk about this more and more than reflection. Meditation is so important for us to grow, but maybe the subject is new to you and it's okay. It's just, just bear with me, stick with me for a little bit, join me on the discussion and I want to hear from you what you do maybe on daily basis that help you to discover this life's lessons because everything around us is a lesson. But because life goes so fast, we are so occupied. Uh, We have so much on our plate. Our brain goes in so many different directions. And remember, your subconscious mind never rests. Even when you go to sleep, this part is always thinking. That's why these dreams and other things, it never rests. So when you can rest, Only when you go back to your breathing, when you slow down and pause and take time only for yourself and try to clear your mind. So with today's episode, I I put a topic, frustration, guilt, you are not alone because you are not. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. I've been with all the situation that's been going on with, uh, with the war. Um, Ukrainian, over two and a half million of women and children came to Poland, which is my homeland. My friends, my family, my neighbors, they all involved in the actions of helping. I've never seen a nation, like for me, it's, it's being so united. It's just heartbreaking to see what's happening. I hope that you that you kind of I'm sure that a lot of people following you know what what's going on but America is so far away. We are so far away 
from everything, right? We are so far away. And I'm not going to be discussing the politics here because I don't like politics and I will not discuss it something that I'm, I'm not an expert. But I can tell you my life experiences and what I have done to help others. So hey, calling Poland every day, being involved, knowing, wanting to know what's happening, I start feeling that guilt inside of me uh, that I am so far away and living my life and in the meantime, these people suffer. They they lose their family members. Women, uh, whole families have broken down. Men had to stay. Women had to leave, take the children. Some of them didn't didn't leave because they wanted to stay with their families, with their loved one, with their husband. So it's tragic as it as it is, right? And I start feeling this this uh, this this guilt inside of me, I'm not there. What can I do? How can I help? And of course, there are organizations. There is Red Cross. We have Save Our Allies. We've uh, we've done a work for them. Also, you can donate money. Uh, but then when you start searching certain sites, it tells you that a lot of this stuff is being delayed because the roads were bombarded. There, There is like no roads going with the direction. People, It's hard to deliver whatever needs to be delivered for the people. So I'm thinking, there is always a way I have to do something else. And when you come to frustration, like when was the last time that you felt frustrated and more, maybe like, okay, I'm, I'm stuck in a situation and I, I can't get out. You, you, you keep on thinking and nothing is coming to your head. When was the last time that you felt like this? And what did you do? So a lot of times we need to step back, like leave it, leave the situation. And let me tell you a very interesting story that I've read in some of the books. Richard Wagner, which was a very famous composer, his, his music is amazing for a morning work. This is what I do. I like classical music, listening to in the morning. I listen to Chopin. I uh, listen to all different music, but I like it. Those rhythms, this melody, it's clear. It brings you motivation. Really nice. And... It, when when actually I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you exactly uh, what was blocked from uh, when he designed the, when he composed this melody it was that's Rheingold, and this is um, uh, I'm sure I pronounced this pretty well, uh, knowing a little German. Uh, when when this music was blocked, he felt frustrated. So what he did, he took a walk into a forest. He walked into a forest and lay down on the ground and allowed the ground to kind of like overpower him. He relaxed his mind and laying on the ground, he fell asleep. And he had the most amazing dream. He created in this dream a certain, I would say, um, there were chords that he ran home and he wrote them and he edited it to this music. They called them late motifs that runs throughout the song. And when you actually listen to the song, you can hear like the water running. That's what he did. And this is how he created one of the most astonishing pieces that has been written. So this is a lesson. You will not find your answers sometimes when you're too overwhelmed. When your brain is, is stressed, under the stress, we're not going to find answers. And it's a well-known fact. So we need to walk away. What people do, people sometimes take baths, showers. That's why a lot of times when you take a shower because you are in a relaxing stage, you come to so many realizations and breakthroughs, right? And that's what he did he took the time away he stepped away and that's how he created the masterpiece so what i had to do with me i was thinking so like trying to figure this out and i couldn't how can i help these people but then i thought okay i'm oh, i'm trying to think in such a massive action how can i help but what about doing one person at a time thing what about starting, going, stepping back and saying, okay, I wanted to help, but who? All the nation? I can't do that. So what I did, I contacted a friend of mine 
who I knew that she comes from Ukraine. I don't need to throw the, the names here unless they will watch this video and they tag themselves in the post, that's fine. And I asked her, how is she doing? So she told me the whole story. She was telling me about her sister, about her cousins, how people escape the cities, how they hide and try to get somewhere that it's safe. Those are horrifying stories, guys. And we live so far away and we concentrate on a lot of us on these little things that don't even matter. You get frustrated about little things. In the meantime, the people lose their loved ones, they lose their entire families. So a little bit of awareness has to happen to all of us, like literally like helping one person at a time. So we were discussing this stuff every day. So what I did by knowing, okay, this is the situation. Now maybe I can do help someone from her family because they need help. So her sister actually ended up going through Hungary and coming over to, uh, to the United States. So that was great, but there were other relatives. So I'm like, okay, how can I help? What I can do? I can contact my family. I can contact my my friends, whoever is there that maybe will be willing to either rent an apartment, find an apartment, do something because you can't do it alone. If you want to go fast, you can go alone. But if you, if, if you want to go far and really help someone, you need to be united with other people, meaning cherish the relationships that you have and don't wait for others to reach out because Every single one of us has the power and probably from one person to the next, you came across someone that needs help. And that's the whole idea of the show today. To reach out, don't wait, you do it. You reach out, you find out, you ask them. Because if I never did, probably this person never ended up here. So listen to the story. Uh, so I was contacting everybody and I was not getting nowhere. Okay. We were kind of stuck in the same place. And uh, as my mom was saying to me that the, the local school in my city, right where I live was turned into like a refugee camp when women and children, 150 women and children came to this place. And I was picturing, I was envisioning when I used to walk with my dog and by this, by this school and, and I've seen these students there. Now this place is empty and it's taking these women, Ukrainian women and, and children. My mom donated money and and buying some products and helping the people uh, and as women, because those are women. Uh, men left, left, they protect the country, right? <laughs> and we, we, we didn't have any kind of apartment. So out of nowhere, like I contact one of my friends and she said, you know what, I don't have anybody, but we're going to figure something out. She did everything in her power to, to, to do the right thing. Uh, even though she was before, she was sick. And that was another obstacle. She got sick before. And, and now you're thinking, okay, you're sick. Like, how can you take the people? But sometimes you have to make those decisions, those hard decisions. And that's what leaders do. They take the hard decisions. And she did everything in her power to help this person. So through me, through talking to my friend here in the United States, she's talking to her cousin in Ukraine, who was actually already in Warsaw and had only limited time to stay in, a, in, in, in her apartment was able, we were able to help this person directly from my city, take them from Warsaw, bring them to Lodz, my city, and organize a show, well, a, an apartment for them. So guys, look at these connections. Look how everything happens. And you know what other important thing is, as we were talking today, exchanging this whole information, how, how life brings these people inside of your circle, inside your life for connections, different things, different ways. Uh, my friend in Poland who helped this person to come and, and, and uh, gave her the, the apartment, we met in our university. <laughs> Thanks, but this is not the subject. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
she we found we found each other we met each other at university i was studying physical education in poland lots many many years ago we're talking about 2000 and when we met we didn't click i wanted to click with her but we didn't she had a different friend you know things happened so we didn't became friends to actually certain things happened and we kept our friendship for 25 years this is not a friendship that we call our each other every day this is a friendship that we can call once a year and we feel like we never left that's the strong friendship and that's the friendship that you want in your life it's not about all the time when people always have to be connected. You know internally that this is a person for you, right? That you can rely on this person. And we need to be surrounded by people like that, that we can, we can give them something, be responsible. They can be responsible. You trust them. And it felt amazing to know all these roadblocks and these obstacles that somehow, somewhere, us connecting, we were able to do it. Now, my friend here in the United States, I think we were for a long time, we were living in New York and then we moved to California. We had the New York two locations and bootcamp and boxing, very successful. If you guys ever need help uh, in, in regards to your business and nutrition and running seminars, let me know because that's what I've been doing for many, many years and we had successful business. We helped over 20,000 people uh, become become happy and healthy again and fit in so that's on a side note but my friend we knew each other for a long time i remember today again we were going back how our kids met at the barnes and noble when they were playing with little trains the choo-choo trains and we, and, we, and we were good friends but then the friendship went through like hardships and little problems we we didn't really talk much we kind of split separate ways but I knew that if I call her, she's going to be there for me. You feel that. You know which people are good. You, you feel that. And that's what I did with this recent situation. I knew it that she comes from that place. And I want to reach out to her. I wanted to find out how is she doing. So you reach out to people and find out how are they doing. If you know, if you have friends from, from that country. Because you never know who you can help. That's what I'm encouraging you today. So guys, the lessons that, again, there is always a way out of a situation. There is always some kind of a solution. Situations are not there just to not be resolved. They dare to be resolved. And so many people out there, like when you are frustrated and when you, when you, when you, when you feel like, oh, I have the worst life. I hear this. Sometimes people go through these, they have little, little problems, but they make this, this little problem big. Compare your problem to what these people are dealing right now and realize that your problem is probably a little one compared to what's happening over there. How can you help? When you actually start helping others, your problems disappear. Did you realize that? Your little problems disappear. Concentrate on something bigger. Because this is not going anywhere. This, this, is, this is a serious thing. So we need to all step in, step up, and help as much as we can. And yeah, like think about it. They lose loved ones every single day. And we live in... 21st century and things like this are still happening. This is just, it's, it's, it's hard to believe that we came across, that we came, like my, that my generation, that my children, that we are seeing stuff like this. So think about it. One conversation at a time, one phone call at a time, one message, one person at a time. That's what it is. And when you feel frustrated, think about it, that, you're not alone. There are other people that have worse than you. There are other people that have such a difficult situation. And also, step away. Don't go in circles because you're not going to find that answer. The answer will come to you 
when you're a little bit outside of that zone of frustration. Okay? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode today. Um, I, I encourage you to reach out to people today and see who you can help. Because we, we, we shouldn't let the people to be alone in the situation. And I'm sure that you would want someone to help you in that situation. And we all can do something about it. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Episode number 56. No excuses. I talk to you guys soon.